Hi, I'm Kent German, Senior Managing Editor here at CNET. Today we're going to take a first look at the Huawei PAL. This is a new phone for Metro PCS. Now, I know you're looking at this phone and you're thinking, is this really 2013 and am I showing you this? Well, it is. And uh, you know, this is Metro PCS, so the carrier tends to go a little lower end on their phones. And I know that not everybody needs a device that's really fancy. You don't need, and not everyone needs something that does a million things, has all this stuff on it. So there is a place and a time for a phone that just makes calls and sends messages. But I really don't think the Huawei Pal is the one you want. Uh, it doesn't make very good calls, actually, and that really is its primary and pretty much only function. It is just way too basic. It takes that simplicity and runs with it way, 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 way farther than it should. So. Now, I will talk about the design for a minute, though. Uh, it is a very simple candy bar. Uh, it's really from another decade, actually. Uh, it has a very small display, uh, not much bigger than a postage stamp. It's color. I don't know, actually, how many hues is on it. And, um, but it is simple. I mean, it's serviceable. The menu system is deadly easy. It's just got icons on the first page and then uh, a list-based menu system inside. Uh, you'll, you know, it's be very, very familiar if you used a phone for a lot of years. It is very light in the hand. It's so small, I could almost close my hand completely around it. Uh, you almost, you really don't notice it's there. Below the display, there's a big navigation array. I kind of liked it. It, is, it has a nice retro feel. It reminds me of something when I first started reviewing phones here at CNET like 10 years ago. It has a circular navigation toggle. It's really big. It's raised above the surface of the phone, so it's very easy to use. There's an OK button in the middle, a couple of soft keys. Uh, one you can program as a shortcut to a feature of your choice. There are the talk and end power buttons. There's a clear button and then there's a dedicated speakerphone control. So again, spacious, very easy to use, simple to master. Keypad buttons down below. Now uh, there, is no, uh, there is no keyboard, there's no physical keyboard, there's no virtual keyboard, so you're going to be texting using only this new alphanumeric keypad. Up on the top there's a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Over on this side there is a micro USB charger port that is only used for a charger, doesn't have USB syncing. Uh, not that you've, <laughs> there's really much to put on this phone anyway, but just keep that in mind. There's no dedicated volume rocker, so when you're on a call, you're going to have to use that navigation toggle to change the volume. And I interestingly, this isn't a huge deal, but it's just something I noticed. Interestingly, you actually have to go side to side to raise, the vol raise and lower the volume, not up and down, so it's a little counterintuitive. On the back, there's a single speaker. Actually, it's pretty good output, but uh, qu call quality isn't that great, as I said. Inside the phone, there's no camera, there's uh, just a few megabytes of memory, uh, there's a 1000 uh, contact phone book, and you can pair contacts with photos, but how are you going to get photos on the phone? It's, that's another matter. You're going to have to actually have somebody text them to you. Since you can't, there's no memory card slot, there's no camera, and there's no USB syncing. There is a web browser, so that, of course, is deadly simple, but only is going to serve up the really most stripped down uh, mobile web pages. I'm navigating around with that toggle. It just really felt like I was living 10 years ago. But um, it is there, so you can use it. This phone, way too simple. is easy to use, but just too simple as far as features and design. I'm Kent German, here with a first look at the Huawei PAL for Metro PCS.